Right, so this problem states that the radius of a circle is increasing at a non-zero rate. So immediately, I am going to draw a circle. I'm going to represent a radius, and I know that this is expanding. And so therefore, I automatically know that I'm going to have dr dt. Right? I know that I'm going to have, but I want to be able to figure out this expanding. Like, that's just the first sentence I wrote. You know, technically, I'd probably just like underline it. But I know this is going to be somewhere a part of this problem, right? Um, it says the rate of increase in the area of the circle. So, oh, area of the circle. All right, let's write that out there. Area equals pi r squared. Right? Real quick, just mentions area. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to need to use this, but I might. So I'm just going to write it down. Um, rate of increase in the circle is numerically equal to of the increase of the circumference. Oh, OK, circumference. Circumference equals 2 pi r. Now again, what did they say they're equal? They're numerically equal. That means a is equal to c. Correct? All right. Um, I did it this. So, but it says the rate of increase in the area of the circle is numerically. So that's important, actually. It's not a equals c. The rate of increase of the area is equal to the rate of the increase of the circumference. So it's the derivative of each of those, right? It didn't say the area is equal to the circumference. It says the rate of change in the area is equal to the rate of change of the circumference. So if I'm trying to find a prime is equal to a c prime, well, the first thing we want to do is let's figure out what um, a prime is now with respect to t. And actually, I should probably write this as dA dt. It's actually equal to dc dt, right? It's not really a prime. It's with respect to t. So we should probably should be a little bit more better mathematical with that. So therefore, let's figure out what dA dt is. In this example, that's just going to be 2 pi r dr dt. And dc dt equals. Um, 2 pi dr dt. Right? Would you guys agree with the work that I've done so far? It says, at this instant, the radius of the circle is. So actually, what we're looking for is we're looking for what r is. OK, so that's what we're trying to solve for. Now again, these two are equal to each other. But rather than writing it like this, would it be OK then if we just did this? Instead of writing the dA dt is equal to dC dt, we could just write what their expressions are equal to, right? Yes? That's, yeah, it's the same. Like if I say the area of a square is equal to the area of a circle, you just can take the areas and like, set them equal to each other. So in this case, uh, we're trying to solve for r. Well, if I divide both sides by dr dt, those divide out. If I divide both sides by 2, those divide out. If I divide, divide by both sides by pi, those divide out. So I'm just left with r has to equal 1. Right? Because when you divide each one of those both sides, you're going to get 1. So r equals 1.